Airline Flight 01, a heavy Boeing 747. Nature of the emergency is engine one and two on fire. So on board, you got 104, 95 packs and nine crew members. An in-flight emergency simulation, this scenario, an aircraft accident. This is all part of an annual tabletop exercise the Guam International Airport Authority coordinated with local and federal agencies. According to the airport deputy executive manager, Mary Torres, the airport is doing this exercise to meet requirements under federal air regulations and to test their emergency plan. With every emergency plan, it, it doesn't make, uh, it, it's really of no value just on paper. You have to actually exercise and train for it. So what this does is it allows us to look at the plan, uh, assess, assess the, the responsiveness uh, by all the agencies, train not only in, in physical application, but also in, in what your judgment might be given a scenario. According so to tourists, the airport is the uh, lifeblood of the island's economy. The reason why there's so many visitors is because Guam is deemed a safe location. 60% of Guam's economy is driven by arrivals at the airport. Torres says it's important to keep the airport and Guam a safe travel destination. One incident, such as the 1997 Korean air crash, could have a ripple effect throughout our economy. If you recall, it took several years for Korean Airlines to even come back into the market. Um, that market is, is, is still uh, low. It's climbing. There's some, there's some movement now uh, from the Korean market, and we've seen Jin Air, the low-cost carrier, coming in, bringing some traffic. But, uh, you know, with, with everything, I mean, people, people are, in the, in the travel industry, it's, it's, they're very quick to react. Torres says today's exercise is very important to have all local and federal agencies work together in sync to keep Guam a safe place. David Macaluso, PNC News.